In any case, we're going to lunch today, right, hon? I'm going to talk a little bit about where I've been for the last month. I haven't put up a video for over three weeks. Um, and the big reason for that is I've been busy. I know I've announced probably several months ago that I would eventually be leaving Facebook. <coughs> and what I did is I migrated to the new platform, MeWe, which uh, is working out real good. But in the uh, process of removing myself from Facebook, I've discovered some things. And uh, I don't know if this is a recent change to, uh, that Facebook has made, but if you go into Facebook settings, into your privacy and your settings, uh, you'll notice a, uh, a function that says off Facebook media meaning uh, what, what it boils down to is Facebook has agreements with other other platforms maybe it's Amazon maybe it's uh, Lazada I don't know um, they have you know obviously Twitter and WhatsApp and Instagram all linked back to Facebook and they share all the information that these other platforms sorry the information that these other platforms gather on you is shared with Facebook and I really think, um, I, I think I mentioned in a video, a couple of videos ago, that uh, our local bank account here was compromised. Our debit cards were compromised. We have two debt, well, one, one account, but two cards with two separate numbers. And Terry never uses hers, hardly at all. And I use mine just for recurring expenses. But uh, what had happened was both of our card numbers were compromised literally on the same day and they both began charging both cards on the same day. Uh, initially I chalked that up to a uh, a bank information breach because there's no way that somebody could have got both of our account numbers on the same day. Um, if somebody would have stolen an account number at a restaurant or something um, that would have been one number not both numbers. But anyway I suspect because of all this cross-sharing information with Facebook Somehow, they have linked her and me together and found both of our credit cards. So anyway, the bottom line is, uh, I decided months ago that I would eventually be leaving Facebook. Um, and that's not the only reason, because of the data card breach, but, or the debit card breach, but because of uh, their censorship. Um, I just don't like what they're doing. They're trying to silence people's voices, and they, they're they're concerned about their own agenda. And I'm not playing that game. So I've decided to get off Facebook, like I said. But here's the problem. Once I started removing myself from Facebook, I also learned that if you just go in and delete your account, everything on attached to your account is archived, possibly. And I don't know this for sure, but my gut instinct tells me that if Facebook is this powerful and has this much technology then they've probably got a hold of your information and they're not going to let go of it. So it was suggested to me by several tech people on the internet to just start deleting everything. Delete photos, delete videos, delete personal information. Uh, and then I got into my activity log which uh, keeps track of everything you do on Facebook. Every time you like something, every time you share something, every time you comment on something, every time somebody tags you in a, in a photo somewhere, it's in your activity log. Uh, and here's the thing. In order to completely remove yourself from Facebook, you have to completely remove everything you've done. Like I said, I don't know how true that is, but it doesn't surprise me if it would be true. So that's what I have been doing for the last almost 30 days, is deleting everything item by item on Facebook. I'm almost through with my Living in the Pacific page. Um, that page will be going away here soon. Ooh. 
beach party. I still have my uh, Facebook account up and running and I probably will for a little while longer because there's some groups there that I partake in. One is a stamp collecting group which is a pretty big group and they share a lot of good information. Uh, we've got some local for sale groups here on Guam that uh, we've used from time to time. Um, there's a music group that I enjoy. Uh, a lot of my old friends are in this music group. Look at the people at the beach today. You think the gover governor would have lifted restrictions or something? Oh wait, she did, didn't she? <laughs> um, yeah, just let me interject here. Our governor, this yesterday I think, would be Friday, Guam time, has relaxed some of the restrictions in Guam. Now we can have social gatherings up to 25 people. Restaurants are still open 50%. Bars are still closed. But now we can have big group gatherings at the beach. So, and I think that's what people were basically waiting for. So anyway, back to Facebook. It's taken me almost a month to manually delete everything on Facebook. Like I said, my Living in the Pacific page has completely migrated over to MeWe. Actually, I'm surprised. There's a good number of people that have actually moved to, to MeWe and joined up on my Living in the Pacific group there. I also have another group there called Guam, and I also manage a uh, Cal Bayag City expats group in the Philippines on MeWe. All these groups are growing. That most of these people are coming from Facebook. They're tired of Facebook. They're tired of the ads. They're tired of the censorship. They're tired of the spying, collecting your information. Um, people are fed up. Not everybody will leave Facebook. Not everybody will stand on principle. Uh, and I'm finding out a lot of my friends who I thought were very principled are not very principled because they're not going anywhere. They're, we're going to stay with Facebook no matter what you tell them or what they learn that's bad about Facebook. But that's okay. And I'll remain on Facebook a little longer. I, I can still communicate with people through Messenger. But uh, I will be shutting down. I did shut down my Twitter account. I will be shutting down my Instagram account. I will be shutting down my uh, WhatsApp account, WhatsApp. And we'll probably, on the advice of some people, um, there's two other platforms I can use to communicate to everybody with. One is called Wire, and the other one is called Signal. Both of these communication platforms are end-to-end -end encrypted, meaning uh, nobody can listen in, nobody can take your information. And I think that's where the world is heading today, where people have to start paying more attention to protecting their private information. So in any case, we're going to lunch today, right, hon? Today, we're eating at Moses. Moses Joint. They have really good burgers here. They also have good, uh, good mahi-mahi or ahi burger. Check it out. Well, most restaurants in Guam uh, have been allowed to open at 25% capacity. Uh, but the bars are still closed, which kind of is really confusing and kind of hurts a lot of the bar businesses because some bars uh, have more alcohol than they got food in the menu, but they're allowed to open because they're listed as a restaurant. Uh, other bars who serve food are not allowed to open because they're listed as a bar. I don't know, pretty confusing to me. Alright, what are we having for lunch? Scallops on crack. Calico and Pokey of the day. Where did you say that? Right here. Right above the escargot. <laughs> this is really good right here. Black pepper crusted ahi sandwich. That's kind of my favorite. But I'll try something different today. And food came and I forgot to take a picture before we started eating, but Got us a seafood salad, red rice, kind of dinny. 
eggplant. Uh, so far so good. Delicious. And not long after that lunch was consumed, it was time to head home for a battle nap. But, but I did not decided to stop and put the drone in the air to check out the construction of the new Japanese Don Quixote, which uh, some say is a version of American Walmart. I guess we'll see you soon enough. Take it.